Let's see if we can do a spontaneous exercise together. And why I love a spontaneous exercise, a movement you can call it, is because you are being present in the moment. There's nothing structured, so there's no structure of movement. Okay, you've got to do this, or you've got to, you know, do that, or you've got to move this way. This is actually tapping into your own energy field, your own state of consciousness in this moment. So whether that state of consciousness is what we can call the higher consciousness or the more human consciousness, so meaning maybe you've got some pain body happening within you, or stress, anxiety, fear. And using this moment as a moving meditation, so it's presence through movement, to restore ourselves to harmony, balance, and inner peace. So you can start standing. You could even be seated and just allow yourself to organically move. You can also use this by, say something happened during the day, something at work caused you stress or anger, upset, and then you didn't quite It wasn't the appropriate place to deal with it then. But you can come home and you can just tap into what happened moments ago and see if it comes back up so that we can move that leftover energy of what happened, the situation that happened that caused upset and then move it out of your body. Because all energy, all thoughts, all experiences, all emotion live in the body if we are not fully alert and aware to have it move through the body at the moment that something happens. So we can stand here, we can close our eyes and just turn our attention inward. So whether you're recalling something that happened earlier or whether you're just being present in this moment and wanting the energy to shift and move in the body so we can become free and balanced and in harmony with life and just allow the movement to happen. Remembering that the spontaneous movement is a movement that brings you back to center. frees you from the mind. And in this movement, perhaps insights may come to you. And just say, for example, you're recalling a situation that happened and you feel the disruption in your body. Just allow that energy to move through the body and notice what it does. It's not like you're trying to do anything, but you're allowing it to organically move out of you or transform. Don't 
doesn't matter what it looks like. And you're not even trying to make any comments about it, but you're just fully feeling this energy. Because the intelligence of our body wants to come into alignment. That's its natural state, is in full alignment and centeredness. But life, as you know, can throw us off balance. So as we begin to move, we just move with this energy. And then when the mind becomes clearer, so no longer fogged up with what happened earlier today, you can bring this intention through the consciousness that you are and find that balance in your body and just allow it to come into alignment. And then maybe something else arises, some other new emotional state, energy. So we just, again, go with that. And we just keep moving and moving until, again, you find that clarity. And that clarity, what that would look like is that The mind is no longer attached to thought, to the upset, to the emotion, to the story. And we find ourselves, ah, here's my center. There's my center. It's right here. And then we can move from that center. So I'm going to exaggerate this a little bit. So when we're off center, it's almost like we're reaching, reaching for something. And that's okay. Just notice that's what's happening. But it's the return to health, healing, to balance. And then suddenly there's this like, uplifting energy and body. And then we move from that. So the balance is no longer off, but there's center here. And then our movements are moved through the center of our being. 